She ran out the door. She gave me that look. What kind of look did she give you? That look she always used to give me when she was too frustrated to speak with me. And how did you look back? I, um... I don't know, I, uh... It's okay, breathe. I can't even remember what color shirt she was wearing that day. I... Uh, it was, it was white. It was? How'd you know that? We've been over this before. I can't even remember that. It's okay. Just breathe and keep going. Okay. I'm just, trying to think about what's best for us. Oh, right? what's best for us, yeah. right? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Where are you going? I'm going to work, Logan. Why are we still talking about this, Logan? Well, we'll have to make a decision soon, right? There's no decision to make. Why is this so difficult for you? I, I'm not ready. I just, do you really want to spend the rest of your life with me? Yes, of course I do. Why, why would you say that? Because you're not really making it seem like that, Logan. I just, I, I don't understand. Hey, please. What do you want me to say? I, I have to go. Now come with me to Springfield. I can't, Logan. What are you not understanding? What, what are you not hearing? I can't make this move. I'm not ready to go. I love you. So, what do you say? Sorry. Sorry. I said, so what do you say? Oh, um, I don't know, man. Um... Logan, I get it. I really do, but... You know, Lance Coleman's offer is still on the table. Right? You can't just let all this pass you by. For what, you know, what happened. Yeah. And you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but you were the one who was on board with this plan from the beginning. After, you know, all that stuff that happened with Valerie. You know, they got some really, really nice houses in Springfield. And low rent, good restaurants, and I don't know, you might even meet someone. <sighs> Just think about it, man, seriously. A new town, a new job, they might be exactly what you need right now. I, mean, I know you said you weren't having much luck with those therapists, but... How many is it now? Five? I have more coffee for you guys. Is that all for you? Yeah, thank you. Look, man, um, th th thanks for meeting with me. Yeah, of course. You know, I'm always down to have a chat when I'm in town. And feel free to call me anytime, okay? I want to discuss more details about this offer. All right. Um, thanks, man. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Said so take me up on that job offer. I'll take you out for a drink. You know, like in high school, like in the good old days. Unless you're, you know, not drinking, because I know Valerie wouldn't let you drink. No, it wasn't, it wasn't like that. It was different. 
All right, man. Look, it couldn't hurt. Talk to you later. See ya. Valerie, can we have that talk again? You tell me, Logan. Look, if you don't want to talk about it right now, we can talk about it later. Oh, so you can just bother me about it later, right? Uh, it's, it's a great opportunity for both of us. It's an amazing job with Josh. It's 100 miles away, Logan. Look, it, it'll take some getting used to, but I know you'll love the city life, Val. It's not about whether or not I like the city life. I just... We can't move to Springfield right now. I I don't want to leave here. Here? Really? Yes, here. Where you grew up, where I grew up, where we met, where we fell in love. Do you I... want to live here for the rest of our goddamn lives? Obviously not the rest of our lives, Logan. I just, we haven't even been married a full year and you already want to move? I just feel like we're going a little fast. Well, I'm just trying to think about what's best for us. Oh, right? what's best for us, yeah. right? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Where are you going? I'm going to work, Logan. And then she drove off. <sighs> Logan, this is our seventh session talking about that memory. I think we need to try something new. What do you mean something new? That, that, that morning was the last time I saw her. The, I know, I know. Those what's memories are what's important here. That, that's why I've come here. You're drawing a lot of pain from that memory. And, and trust me, I, I understand why you're fixated on it. But if we want to make any progress, Logan, I need you to go deeper. Can you tell me about when you first heard the news? The news? You mean, you mean when she died? Yes, when you first heard that she died. Well, why does that matter? That, that, that happened after. I heard it later that morning. I don't, I don't know. Why does that matter? Logan, we need to work through more than just that morning. Look, to be honest, I haven't seen you make any progress. I don't think this is working, Mr. Summers. But I have made progress. What do you feel like you've accomplished since you first started coming to my office? I, I mean, has your outlook changed at all? Well, well I am. Um... At this point, We've had more than enough sessions for me to realize this program is not for you, Mr. Summers. I'm sorry, that's my professional opinion. There is something I could recommend. Though it is a bit unorthodox,
Okay. All right, one more step. One more step. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. God. <laughs> Are you going to throw up again? No, oh, me? Never. <laughs> you, you said that last time, oh. and, well, you threw up a lot. <sighs> All right, over here, let's go. All right, almost there. A little bit more. Okay. All right, get in there. Oh, oh my God. God. Okay, you good? Do I really have to buckle you? You're an actual child, Logan. Thanks. You're the best father. Logan, you know I'd do anything for you, but you said you weren't going to drink tonight, and I'm just worried about you, that's all. I'm sorry. I'm just worried about you, that's all. Mr. Summers? Yeah, yeah that's, that's me. My name is Dr. Ira, if you'll please follow me. You must be Logan, Dr. House. It's nice to meet you. Pleasure. Please have a seat. So you're here to learn more about our procedure. I am. So. What makes you interested? What brings you here? Well, I, I, I lost my wife. Um, and I've been just trying everything. And none of it seems to work. I feel like I need something different to help. And I was told that you guys can help with that. We'd like to believe that we can help you, Mr. Summers. Our procedure is certainly unorthodox, but it has the potential to change lives. So what, what is it, some kind of medicine? I don't... It's an experimental technology. It was originally designed to treat patients with neurological trauma. But over the last several years, Dr. Ira and I have been working to adapt it to the field of psychiatry. It's a process that suspends the mind in subconsciousness. The subject retains lucidity while their brain undergoes an experience similar to dreaming. The operation stimulates a near psychedelic mental response that reactivates key emotional and memory related structures of the brain. So how is that exactly supposed to help me? To put it simply, Mr. Summers, you will be reliving your most powerful, most emotionally charged memory, often in this case the deepest and most repressed. Is there any way of knowing what that memory will be? We don't know. Uh, basically, it's up to you to open up your mind and let your instincts manifest it on their own. It is the aspect of the treatment that our patients have had the most trouble with. Now, we can help you through this procedure to rediscover yourself, but you're going to have to meet it halfway. I, I, I... I think I'll be interested. And you should probably know about the risks at hand. But, but what? Thus far, we have successfully executed four procedures. That's 
out of five attempts. What happened in that one? There were complications. It was... We don't know exactly what was happening on the patient's end, but his brain, his body, just couldn't handle it. Well, most of our test subjects that have been referred to us are in a very similar position to you. You're the exact type of person that this technology was designed for. And with your willingness, we can be making another massive stride in the field of psychology. And you'll be living with peace of mind. We'll just have you sign a few waivers, and then we can start to schedule the procedure. All right. Fine. Fine, fine by me. Josh, hey. No, no, it's, it's not about the job. Um, yeah, I know, I know. Look, I'm, um, I'm looking for a place that, that we used to go. Um, we used to drink and, yeah, I don't know, man, it, it was, it was years ago. No, it was, it was, it was some place in town. Yeah, that, that's it. That's it. Awesome. Um, yeah, thanks. I gotta go. Take care.
can really see the whole city from up here. You found us! Where the fuck are we? You're exactly where you said you wanted to be. Come on in, we'll get started. Logan Summers, is that correct? Take off your shirt, please. Take off your shirt. How are you feeling, Mr. Summers? I'm ready. Awesome. When you're ready, if you'll have a seat in this chair. System booting. Okay, Logan, let your body go limp. Start recalling the memory. Try to visualize every little detail. Your mind will fill in the rest. Just remember the breathe. Initiating procedure. Initiating in five, four, three, Two, one, initiate. signs are stable. Wow. <laughs> you can really see the whole city from up here. I love the view from up here.
Dr. Ira, we're losing him. He's the stabilizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 